Today, I'll be answering your burning questions on what calculator you should get for school in 2022. Hi there, I'm Dr. Christopher Mitchell. I've been using and programming graphing calculators for 25 years. I'm the co-founder of a volunteer group called Chemitech, and I've written several books on graphing calculators. I'll be showing you options from Texas Instruments, Casio, and Hewlett Packard. Specifically, I'll be talking about the TI-84 Plus CE, two versions of TI's Inspire calculator, the Casio Prism, and the HP Prime. And don't worry, if you already have an older graphing calculator with a black and white screen, I'll be talking about those two at the end of this video. There are a few common features that I want to call out before we get started. All the calculators that we're going to talk about today are shaped like bigger phones. They're taller than they are wide, and they're made of plastic. They all have tactile buttons that you press to type. None of them, except for the HP Prime, has a touchscreen, although they all have color screens. They all have rechargeable batteries, except for the Casio Prism, and every single one of them has a USB port that you can use to transfer files on the calculators with a rechargeable battery. You also use that USB port to charge the device. But they do have different capabilities. They're suitable for different types of math, and some of them can be used on standardized tests like the SAT, while some cannot. The TI-84 Plus CE is one of the most popular graphing calculators out there today. It's used by students from seventh grade well into college, and it comes from a long line of TI graphing calculators with TI-83 or TI-84 Plus in the name. This legacy means that the keystrokes to use the calculator to do math, statistics, graphing, and many other things on the calculator are well known by students, teachers, and textbooks of those last two decades. On top of the older calculators that you might have seen with black and white screens, it offers a higher resolution 320 by 240 color screen. It doesn't really add a whole lot more in math other than some wizards that will make it a little bit easier to do some statistics tasks and faster graphing. The TI-84 Plus CE is a solid choice if you need to do standard regular math anywhere through high school and even a little bit into college. The TI-84 Plus CE can be purchased at most office supply stores and it generally runs about 120, 125 US dollars. You might be able to find a deal around back to school. If somebody tries to charge you much more than that, you can certainly price match against online stores like Amazon. The TI-84 Plus CE also comes in a variety of colors like red, mint, coral, gold, and black, although it appears that some of those colors are hard to find this year, ostensibly due to supply chain issues. The TI Inspire is a more advanced calculator than the TI-84 Plus CE, but this doesn't necessarily mean that it's a better calculator. Physically, it's a little bit bigger, it has more keys. It comes in two different varieties, the TI Inspire CX2 and the TI Inspire CX2 CAS. That extra suffix on the name, CAS, C-A-S, means computer algebra system. This means that the calculator can understand symbolic math. For example, if you want to do something like simplify a long equation down to a shorter equation, or solve a system of equations. In many math classes, a CAS isn't allowed, and on standardized tests like the SAT, you can't use a calculator with a CAS. If you're in college doing advanced math and you're mostly interested in being able to do math on your calculator in class, the TI Inspire CAS might be a good option. However, if one of your main reasons for getting a calculator is to use it for high school math or to use it on a standardized test like the SATs, you don't want a CAS calculator. So the TI Inspire would be your choice or the TI-84 Plus CE or some of the other calculators I'll be covering in this video. One key aspect of the TI Inspire is that it uses a different type of interface than some of the other calculators we'll be talking about today. Most of the calculators we're talking about have a main screen, usually called the home screen, where you can just type out math and answers appear. The TI Inspire doesn't work that way. It has a touchpad, it has a mouse pointer that appears on the screen, and you're first presented with a menu of different things you can do. If you want to do math, you have to open up a document and do your math in that document. There is a part of the calculator called the scratch pad where you can do math without making it part of a permanent document, but it still requires a few keystrokes to actually enter the scratch pad when you turn the calculator on. 
It's not a big deal, it just makes it a little less user-friendly for my tastes. The TI Inspire CX2 should run you about $115 to $120, roughly the same price as the TI-84 Plus CE, and the CAS version is a little bit more expensive, generally up to about $165. The HP Prime is the most polished calculator on this list. It looks great, it feels good, the keys are sharp, the calculator is thin, it has a bright screen, a touch screen in fact, unlike any of the other calculators on this list, and the software is crisp. It can do a lot of different types of math, it's really fast, it can do powerful 3D graphing, and if you're a professional, it's probably your best choice. If you're an engineer, for instance, if you're doing advanced math in college, uh, if you are an architect and need to do a lot of complex calculations, the HP Prime could be the calculator for you. Because of its touchscreen and its CAS system, much like the TI Inspire CX CAS, it cannot be used on standardized tests. But if you're looking for a calculator that will last you for many years and will have powerful math functionality, the HP Prime is probably your best choice. You can expect to pay about $150 US for the HP Prime. The Casio Prism is rarely seen in a U.S. math classroom, but it's a pretty solid calculator. Casio has been making graphing calculators for almost as long as Texas Instruments. In fact, Casio was the first to introduce a color screen graphing calculator. Like the other calculators on this list, the Prism has a color screen, and much like the TI-84 Plus CE, it can do math, statistics, graphing, and can be programmed. The Casio Prism might pose a little bit of a challenge if your teacher is used to using TI calculators because the keys that you press to do different types of math are different than those keystrokes on the TI-84 Plus CE, the TI-84 Plus, the TI-83, and that whole legacy of calculators. You can use it on standardized tests like the SAT, and there is a large community of users out there, albeit not as many as with TI calculators, that can support you if you get stuck. The Casio Prism, also called the FX CG50, is particularly popular because it uses AAA batteries instead of a rechargeable battery. That doesn't sound like an advantage, but a lot of its proponents say that the advantage of interchangeable alkaline batteries, AAA batteries, is that if your battery runs out in the middle of class, in the middle of a test, you can actually just swap out those batteries and you're good to go. With a rechargeable battery, if you forgot to recharge your battery and it goes flat, you're out of luck. You can't use that calculator until class is over or the test is over and you can go recharge it. The Casio Prism is about the same price as the TI-84 Plus CE, usually around 120 US dollars. So what calculator is the best? Which one should you buy? For most people, the right answer is going to be the TI-84 Plus CE. If you or your child is going to be taking elementary school math, high school math, or even some college math and needs a graphing calculator, the TI-84 Plus CE will do everything that they need. It's also going to be the calculator that is most familiar to teachers. It's going to be the calculator that standardized test proctors have seen the most. And it's the one where you'll be able to find the most existing reference material, websites, books, and videos on how to use it. The TI-84 Plus CE is perfectly adequate for doing math, statistics, graphing, and even some programming. In fact, there's a newer version called the TI-84 Plus CE Python Edition, currently a little bit hard to find in stores right now, that has Python as a built-in language, in addition to the TI basic language that has been on these calculators for several decades. If you need to do more advanced math, if you need to do symbolic manipulation of equations, your choices are the TI Inspire CX2 CAS and the HP Prime. Assuming that there's not a reason to use the Inspire, like your teacher specifically asked for a TI Inspire calculator, I far prefer the HP Prime. As I said, it's a more polished calculator, it feels better, it's faster, it has more capabilities. But if your classroom is familiar with the TI Inspire, then you should go with that calculator because the benefits that you'll get from the teacher being familiar with that particular calculator will outweigh the downsides of the slightly clunkier interface and some features that are harder to access on the TI Inspire. So, too long, didn't watch, you just want the conclusions. If you want an all-around good calculator for school, from elementary school to high school to early college, the TI-84 plus CE is your calculator. 
If you are an engineer doing advanced math in college or want a more professional calculator that can manipulate complex equations and do symbolic math, you probably want the HP Prime. Finally, if you want a calculator that you can hack, the TI-84 Plus CE is still your best option, although the Casio Prism is a close runner-up.